I just purchased the Huel Instant Meal Cups Variety Pack. Here's an example of one. And the question comes up, are these worth it or not? Oh, hi, Mark. What's up, Vachero fam? Welcome back to my channel. We'd like to experience everything that life has to offer. As most of you know, I'm a huge fan of Huel. I've been having it for over five or six years now. And recently, they just released the Huel Instant Meal Cups. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about everything you need to know. The price, what's in it, is it worth it, is it not? How do you make it? And of course, how well or not well does it taste? First off, let's talk about the ingredients and the nutrition. You can see right here like a little picture, 27 vitamins and minerals, 158 health benefits, 22 grams of plant-based protein. The main idea of this Huel Instant Meal Cup is to think of it like a healthy microwavable meal or basically, in very common speak, a healthy ramen noodles. Now going back to the nutritional facts, you can see here, this is the chicken alfredo. These are kind of similar between the three, a little bit different in places, which I'll show you. Now, first off, the main idea, like I said, is this is basically a complete meal in of itself right here. You can see we have 400 calories, good amount of sodium. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it does depend on each one. The chicken alfredo has 600 milligrams of sodium. Korean barbecue noodles are a little bit less. And then down here about the same, right? So it does depend on each one. But then we also have, you know, about 60 grams of carbs, 23 grams of protein, a bunch of vitamins and minerals right here. We also have omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. So there's a lot to this, making it a very, very healthy option. If Lexi wants something super quick and portable, of course, you can bring this to work, bring it wherever you are. You fill it up with hot water or put it in the microwave and boom, you have a quick instant meal that's of course a lot healthier than ramen. Now let's talk about the price. This isn't good, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is severely overpriced. As most of you know, I'm very transparent in my videos and I'm a huge fan of Huel. And I think what's in this is great. It's excellent. I've actually want a quick microwavable meal that's nutritionally complete and good for you. But when we get to the price, that's where it gets a little, a little tricky. Now you can see right here about 40 bucks for eight servings, only $5 per serving. Already, I'm not gonna lie, that's a good amount. $5 for this, I think is pretty overpriced. But that's not the full story. Now if I go down here, ignoring the variety box, because it is a little bit more money, you can see. I'd like someone to get the Korean barbecue noodles. First off, I have to buy, as you can see down here, two boxes. So go one, two. So yes, it is $80 for two boxes. But then you notice, oh, that's when you do the flexible plan, subscribe and save option. If I just gonna buy them straight out, the true price, and I hate when companies do this, when they say, oh, only $40 for you know eight servings. No, that's if you do the subscribe and save option. It's a bit of like a bait and switch. I hate to say it, I don't like it when companies do this. So if I go down here now, if I were to buy two boxes, it's $50 per box. So eight in each box or 16 of these total, and it equals a hundred bucks or $6.19 per cup. $6.19 for this. I think that is absurdly overpriced. I gotta be honest. Again, I, I, I love fuel. You know, I, I'm very honest in all my videos though. And I just think this is insanely overpriced for a couple bucks more. I could get a burrito or a burrito bowl at Chipotle, for example. And yes, this is very convenient and a very nutritionally complete food and in general, a nutritionally complete meal. But $6.19 for this, a little overpriced. And then when you factor in the part that like if you want to try all of them, you have to get two boxes or two variety packs. That's going to cost you even more money. And it kind of becomes a tricky game of like, all right, ramen noodles are what, like 50 cents? So do you want to buy that or spend what, 20 or 30 times more money to get this. Yes, it is healthier, but then also it's about, in a sense, just as convenient. And speaking of convenience, I've all three right here, the spicy gochujang noodles, Korean barbecue noodles, and then the chicken alfredo. I'm gonna make these and then try them live on camera. And I wanna stress, I've not tried any of these yet. So I'm gonna be very honest if it tastes good or not. Let's find out. All right, in the kitchen now, I've got all three right here as you can see. And in terms of how to make it, looks like in the microwave, we're going to add water, microwave on a minute, stir, microwave for another 30 seconds, and then wait to try it out. Pretty standard, so let's do it. All right, so here's what each one looks. You just want to see it. So there's no, like, extra packets you have to take out. I know sometimes, like, ramen or other microwavable meals have that where you, like, take it out, heat it up, and then put it back in and stir it. 
So everything's kind of already pre-made and ready to go. So let's fill it up. There is the fill line right here in terms of filling it up, but it's not on the inside of the cup. I know a minor thing, but it is kind of convenient when it's on the inside of the cup. So I'll just kind of have to like eyeball that. Okay, so I'm gonna put all three in at once. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I figured, you know what, why not? So I'm gonna put all three in. Um, supposed to do it for a minute, it says. So I'm gonna do maybe like two minutes for all three, and then we'll stir, go from there. Two very boring minutes later. Two minutes up, so they feel decently hot. Here's how it looks. I don't wanna spill it by accident. I'm gonna stir it. Um, feels like there's actually a good amount of food in here, to be honest, like, so I can show you that without spilling it. So this one looks. Um, so I'm gonna stir each one and then do maybe another 30 seconds. So yeah, there is a good amount of food. So pretty good. I will say it looks a lot better than ramen noodles. So I'm gonna say that for sure. Like it looks more of like an actual complete meal. So looks legit, you know, looks pretty good. So let's put this back in. Um, because there's three, I'm gonna do it for one more minute and let's try these out. They are done. Now I'm gonna wait about five minutes because they're pretty hot. And then we're gonna do the live taste test. Five minutes later. All right, it's time for the true honest taste test. I'm gonna do this live on camera. We have the spicy gochu chang noodles. We have the Korean barbecue noodles. And then lastly, the chicken uh, Alfredo. It's weird that they don't put the name of them on the front, by the way. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn them around so you can see. It's right here. I know it'd be tough to see on the video but I'll name each one as we go. So I'll do this. Let me just mix this up. Cheers. So I'm gonna do that. Ooh, still a bit hot. So there's a little kick to it. I think. Oh, it's a bit spicier than I expected. Wow. So there's some heat to that. I like that. And I'd rate that like a 4.5 out of 5. That's really good. Definitely a bit spicy. Not too, too spicy, to be honest. Um, Then again, I'm obsessed with spicy food. So it depends upon the person. This tastes excellent. Okay. Great start. Great start. Now we're going to go to the uh, Korean barbecue noodles. I'm going to show you this now. Looks like that. All right. Second one up. Three point five out of five. Um, this one definitely tastes better than this one. I I expected better. I'm gonna be honest. This was the this was the one I was most excited about. I expected better. Maybe I also hyped this one up in my mind. This one I wasn't too sure what to expect. I might even lower to that three point two five. Yeah, I don't think. But I'll be honest. I would definitely buy this one again. I would definitely not buy this one again. So so far, I'm like one out of two when it comes to the variety pack, because you may be wondering too on this video, like maybe you get the variety pack, trial three. I would not buy this one again, being honest. Not that it's bad, but I think I, if I have the option, I mean, obviously I have a few more in the variety pack, but if I have the option, definitely get the spicy uh, gochu chang noodles again, All right? Here's how it looks. So cheers. It's meh. I'm gonna rate uh, maybe a 2.75 out of five. It's not that I think it's bad. I wanna say that. Like none of these tasted bad, so I wanna say that. So, which is, which is ironic that you can see from here, I don't even meant me to do this. The one that I started with, the spicy gochujang noodles, was definitely the best. This one, I would have it again. Um, if like say it was like around, but I don't know if I'd go out of my way to buy it again per se, but I might, but I, I think I wouldn't necessarily buy it again, but I would definitely have it again. This one, I don't know if I would honestly have it again. I don't know. It, it's tricky, but yeah, to rank them in order, first, second, third place in terms of the taste. Here's my final conclusion after comparing the four main elements of these. Price, nutrition, convenience, and lastly, taste. I'd say this, I would not buy the instant meal cups again. Now, I will say, out of any of them, I do like the spicy gochu chang noodles the best. But would I actually buy it again with everything considered? Not just taste, which I thought they tasted pretty good, 
But everything considered, no. Like I showed you, unless you do the subscribe and save option, it's $6.19 for one of these. I mean, even if you do the subscribe and save option where it gets delivered every month or two weeks or whatever you pick, that's still $5 for one of these. Again, I hate to say it, super overpriced. Now, if money's not an issue for you, if let's say you're like, hey Mark, I'm not gonna lie, money's not really as much of an issue for me, I just want to get something that's super easy, super quick to make, that's healthy, that's actual real food. Yeah, you really can't go wrong. Like say if you're traveling, if like say you're camping, for example, and you use a jet boil and you heat up water or in a boiler and then you pour it in, you want something that's very compact. Like this screams to me like camping's a really good idea. To have something that's hot, of course, and an actual meal. Now, I personally love the Huel powder for a few different reasons. One, I think it's very reasonably priced, right? This to me feels like more of a premium product. I just gotta be honest. The Huel powder seems very reasonably priced, even though it has gotten a bit more expensive over the years, but I think it is reasonably priced. I also love with the Huel powder. I mix it with water in a blender cup. That's it. That's pretty much the entire thing. With this, you do need some type of thing, in a sense, for lack of a better word, to heat up water to heat this up. So let's say if you are camping, for example, or you are traveling, you're bouncing around, you do need to have some access to hot water. And another thing, the biggest thing for me when it comes to these is the price. I think that to me is the biggest reason out of all this because I do like the nutrition. If I'm between ramen noodles and this, this is of course way healthier for me. More protein, a lot more macro and macronutrients, a lot of vitamins and minerals, all the good stuff, right? I will say the sodium content though is a bit high and the amount of carbs is a bit high for me personally, I have to be honest, but in general, not too bad, especially when compared with a lot of other microwavable meals. Another thing you could consider is how do you eat food? If like, say you wanna make your own food at home and everything, this is way more expensive than making your own meals. Lex, you bring a couple of these to work. So let's say you bring two of them, that's $10 right there. Why well, know a lot of people, especially like say when I used to be an accountant, where every day for lunch, they'd go out, grab some food to go at some restaurant, and they could easily spend $15 every day or 20 bucks every day, getting food to go. And it's like, okay, of course this, like say even just one of them, which is a nutritionally complete meal of 400 calories, that's $5, way cheaper than 15 or 20. So in that regard, this is actually a better deal. However, at five or $6 for one of those, I mean, like I said, for a couple extra bucks, like I said in the beginning of this video, I could get a burrito or a burrito bowl at Chipotle. And especially if I use my Chipotle hacks, I did a video about that in the past, how I get the most amount of food for the same amount of money, where I can get an absurd amount of food for almost the same exact price. I gotta be honest, in some situations, this might be worth it, but at least for me, I don't think I'd ever buy this again.